Hi everyone, Matt here from Proof Fly Fishing. Um, in today's video, I'm going to introduce a new product that we just started to carry. Um, it's a white uh, India ink marker, and it has a nice broad felt tip on it. And what I want to do today is kind of demonstrate how to do a white trim band. And to show the the kind of quality of this marker, I'm going to pick the worst case scenario for doing these. We're using a dark blank, um, this is a dark red blank, and we're actually using black silk. And what this marker is going to allow us to do is actually transform this black silk to white to do a trim band of really any width that we want. So as you can see I've got the wrap started here, and I'm going to take this, um, this marker now, and I'm going to color um, part of the the silk in front of it between the blank and my tensioner and I'm just going over it a few times the nice thing with this marker is that it has a nice um, soft felt tip so the the silk kind of uh, settles into it a little bit so you get really good saturation of the thread now I'll go up and down it a few times especially if I'm using black if I were using a lighter color um, it tends to take that pigment a little bit faster, but um, so with this one, I go up and down just a few times. You can see that silk um, really taking the pigment well. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to let that dry for a minute, and then I'm going to wrap it in place. Um, after I get done wrapping this, I'm going to tie it off and I'm going to finish it off um, with some thin spar. The spar I'm using is cut roughly 50% uh, with a solvent, so you'll just see how that, how well that pigment holds up um, even after being applied only, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so um, to that thread. So give me just a minute to let this dry. You can kind of test it with your fingers sometimes. Looks like it's doing pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that in place. Just like that. We'll pack everything. Again, we're using, um, this is kimono silk. We're using black. Um, and this is a dark red blank. So there's our wrap, just like so. I'm going to cut this thread and I'm actually just going to um, tape it off on the blank so that I can show you how it looks um, when we get a little bit of spar on it. There we go. Okay. As you can see, that color holds fast, even with a, um, a highly cut spar. You get no bleed through, it just uh, it holds its color beautifully. Um, also, what I've got here too, um, I've got the same marker, only I did it in white silk. And it might seem, in I don't know if you can see it in the camera now, but um, the pigment's so strong I can actually see the brighter white of the pigment on the silk. And so I'm going to apply a little bit of spar to that. And you can see that white line up here. As the rest of the white silk disappears. I know it's a little hard to see, there's a little bit of glare, but um, I've got a clean white line on the silk where the silk was. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, these are a, a, a white India ink, and if you're looking to do trim bands, especially if you like to do them in silk, um, this is a great option because there's not really a good way to color preserve um, silk for such a small band. But that's pretty much it. Um, you can pick up the marker on the site as well as the silk. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.